Welcome to the Forte Web training video series. This video is going to cover the Member Info tab. Uh, we're going to start inputting some member information and to use as an example we're going to use this sample set of plans. I'll include a link to it down in the uh, YouTube comments or within the course depending on how you're accessing this video. Um, we're going to start off by sizing a member over here, FJ4. It's part of our floor framing plan. So we'll see we have a 16 foot span with a 2 foot cantilever and that cantilever is supporting some uh, roof load from above. Um, so that's what we're working with here. FJ4 is the indication. So as we go through our training will reference these and uh, refer to the members as uh, as they're labeled in this plan. All right, so we've already created our levels in our job tree. So we're going to create a new member under the floor level. And if we hit the little green plus, we get the fly out here and we can choose what member type we're looking for. So we're looking for a floor joist. And on the member info tab, um, this is where uh, we can, well, here we can rename it as appropriate. So FJ-4. And uh, you can see we have some notes in here. You can see where these will print out. We can say maybe first floor kitchen joist. I don't know, first floor kitchen. Something of that nature, descriptive if you like, or leave it blank. Your deflection criteria, you have choices of high improved code minimum, or if you choose custom, you can set something specific. So if your joist has maybe tile on it, or you have a specific deflection criteria that your customer's given to you, you can set that here. I'm just gonna leave it set to improved. And then your member settings. Now, by default, these boxes are not all checked. Um, do recommend that you check them uh, the allowing of web stiffeners at end supports and intermediate supports. If you have the box checked, that will allow a member to pass where it may have otherwise failed in uh, critical reaction. So the addition of web stiffeners allows a, a joist extra strength with that accessory. Now, if you don't trust that those are going to get installed properly, then you can uncheck those and uh, you would make it a, a more conservative answer at the end, but you don't have to worry about your web stiffeners not getting installed. So you can set that as desired uh, cantilever reinforcement. Um, again, your choice if you want to allow for that or not, additional accessories to be installed on the floor joist, and allow repetitive member increase for rectangular joist products. So if you're using a rectangular section, in a joist application, it probably makes sense to allow that repetitive member increase. Now, if that rectangular section is behaving more as a beam, a flush beam application supporting some special load, well, then you probably want to uncheck this. So again, whatever's appropriate for your situation. I'm gonna go ahead and just check everything here. And up at the top, as with most every tab within Forte Web, you have the ability to save as default, so you're not having to remember to check the boxes repeatedly. If you happen to be sizing a floor beam or a horizontal roof beam, you have a couple additional bits of information available to you on the Member Info tab. The main one is this Display Multiple Member Connection Detail. So you can choose in here if you want Forte to specify a connection for multiple plies of microlam if that's what you're choosing as your solution. And you can do that either by full length or by span um, or just show the loads only and then you can come up with your own multiple member connection. Uh, recommend you set that at full length and then hit save as default for both the floor and roof beams. Additionally, if you are sizing a roof member, um, you do have the ability to set a member pitch here. So you can tell Forte Web what the pitch is on the roof joist or beam that you're sizing. And that's all there really is to the member info tab for sizing a member.